Nigeria recorded a 138.98 billion naira trade deficit in the first quarter of 2020, according to figures from the National Bureau of Statistics. The MBS stated this in its report on foreign trade in good statistics for the first quarter of 2020, which was released on Tuesday. The report noted that the consecutive quarters of negative trade balances occurred against the backdrop of a global slowdown in economic activity as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Joining us now is a senior economist, Nigerian Economic Summit Group, Wilson Erumebo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. The pleasure is ours. Now, Nigeria recorded um, 138.98 billion Naira trade deficit in the first quarter of 2020. What does this mean for the Nigerian economy? Um, what it basically means is that um, we're now experiencing a bit of the, the shock, uh, particularly in the first quarter um, from the coronavirus incident that's happened across the world. What this means is that in the first quarter, we imported more than what we exported to the rest of the world. So we had a case where imports grew by 14%, and then exports you know, fell by 10%. And um, also, if you look at the breakdown of the data, you would see that um, in terms of crude oil, which Nigeria has always um, relied on for either government finances or export earnings, um, crude oil exports declined by about 13% in the first quarter. Um, bearing in mind that um, the first quarter, we hadn't really seen that much effect on the coronavirus um, um, on different economies across the world. So uh, most likely what this means is that going forward, particularly in the second quarter of the year, which is from April to um, June, we are most likely going to see a much bigger um, shock and probably another trade, negative trade balance in the year. So it's not um, actually a good news for the country at the time. And of course, it's expected because of um, the, the impact of the virus. Okay. Would this figure possibly double when the free trade agreement kicks off? Well, um, so with the, with the AFTFTA um, agreement, you know, that is signed on to by the African um, countries. So what, what, what is likely going to happen is that um, trade within the continent is also going to be affected because um, if you if you know like the, the continent is not left out of this global um, pandemic um, African countries have also recorded some increase in number of cases um, there's been some social distancing policies across several African countries um, some economies have had to shut down um, some sectors in terms of like the entertainment sectors um, you know and so many other sectors where you have gatherings of, of people. Um, so there's, there's this um, constraint in terms of economic activities, um, in terms of trade, people moving goods from one place to another has been severely um, hampered uh, by the case of the virus. So yes, we would likely see a decline um, in, in trade within the continent. Um, sadly, this is a, a setback um, for the continent in terms of the free trade that was envisaged you know, several decades ago. But again, um, it, it's, it's more like a temporary shock. Um, by next year, hopefully, there are predictions that we should be seeing some level of pickup in economic activities. And maybe from even the third and fourth quarters of, of 2020, um, going into 2021. So, um, but in the meantime, yes, we will see that much negative impact on trade within the continent. All right, I wish you had more time to talk more on this, but hopefully we'll get you on the news soon enough. Thank you very much for your insight. Thank you for having me.